I was on the phone to one of my athletes last week, shout out Josh, and he was concerned that increasing his lifting frequency during the off season would make him slower. Now, Josh isn't an idiot. He's been training for a long time, lifting for a long time, and he's not falling for any of these fascia-based coaches. And I think he's got a legitimate concern. Through observation, you see plenty of jack guys that look like they're running through treacle. But it's important we don't get this relationship backwards. Lifting doesn't make you slow. You get slow when 95% of your training is lifting. It's the absence of plyometrics, sprints, or anything remotely athletic, not the addition of lifting. I don't want to sound like a broken record because it's so obvious, but if you want to get faster, you need to sprint. And this is the problem. Athletes stop doing anything remotely athletic during the off season. They just lift. The residual training effect of speed is just five days, i.e. after five days, you start getting slower. And tons of athletes go the entire off season without sprinting. So the key is to sprint, jump, do athletic shit year round. Lifting won't make you slow. There is nuance to this conversation. As you become stronger, it requires more volume and more fatigue to continue to get stronger. So there can be diminishing returns through strength training. But that's not lifting making you slower. It's a case of lifting generating too much fatigue so you can't sprint and jump with fresh legs. My closing piece of practical advice would be you get what you measure. Most athletes only measure strength during the off-season, so they only get stronger. Our athletes are taught to regularly track speed, RSI, power, conditioning, and other metrics. That objective accountability stops you from being one-dimensional in your training. 